Hey, Steve Sook here. Welcome back to Pogue Suit Channel. Hey, this guitar is available for $4.99. It's a Washburn J6. Really has a great sound. I even bought a case to go with it. I, I won't even charge extra. It's got the Buzz uh, Fenton uh, tuning system, which gives it better intonation. This is really a nice guitar. I'm really going to miss this. Hope hopefully, it goes to a good home. That's the price. It's firm. It's a great price. I don't make much money on guitars I sell, folks. I'll be honest with you. I really don't. I just love playing them and trying different guitars. Once in a while I get lucky like anybody, but you know, most of the time I just pay for better guitars, make a little bit less, and uh, everybody's happy. What I want to talk about today uh, a little bit is chord melody playing. I, I heard uh, some stuff about chord melody from another instruction site, and they're cool. Uh, I've been saying that kind of stuff for years, but I want to bring up some other points. Um, they brought up some really good points, like the fact that you don't have to have a chord for every melody note. But then again, once you, you don't want to take anything as gospel truth, because uh, it's a gr there's a gray area there. Like if I'm doing how I used to do nothing, but I used to play lots of parties for rich people and get a hundred bucks an hour, and I would do some standards and sing a few songs and do some flamenco and some solo acoustic, and I had a blues tape I jammed to, and it was pretty fun. I'd always find the most beautiful girls there and talk to them. It was pretty cool. But just as an example, if I'm doing like, say, How High the Moon. Now see there, I went ahead and, and used chords put together in a musical way to fill that in. See, like a, I forgot what I did, huh? See, that's got nice, nice voice leading, the chords, you know, mesh together musically. So there, there's no hard, fast rules. I mean, you could do the beginning of Misty like this with chords, right? Using like a major 9-6 to a 13. And I think that sounds really cool. Or you could go, or you could do both. I think the point I'm trying to make is that when people say this or that or whatever, they're not really giving you the complete picture. And anybody who says that, it's got to be this way is, is not really giving you the full picture. And, and to say that chord melody is simple is true on one side and not true on, on in another point of view. It's what you do with chord melody that makes so much difference because like I actually studied with Joe Pass um, live back when I was 22. I'm 63 now. And what he used to the improvisation that he would do in the middle of a jazz tune was just incredible. And that's what makes it interesting. Your, your ability to improvise chordally is what makes it interesting. And by the way, the guitar ladder system is not a jazz guitar chord. Sometimes I think people misinterpret that. Just because we're doing studies that involve chordal improvisation does not mean it's a jazz, it's not a jazz course, it's a music course, it's a guitar course. I've had students in rock bands, metal bands, country. One of my students, one of my great students, Jeremy Long, is in a country band and I watched him on TV, on a TV show one day. Uh, I think it was called The Morning Show, and uh, but at the time that he studied with me, he was in a rock band. My God, you should have heard the stuff he was writing. It sounded like early police or something. It was so creative. So I really want to make that point. The guitar ladder system is not a jazz guitar course. The minute you marry a genre, you're screwed. You're not, you're, 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 you're grow, I probably could put that a little less blunt, but I really believe it. You know, I've been through it. I've seen people. If you don't marry a genre, you're going to end up being able to play all kinds of music and your writing and composing and improvising is going to be very open. If you want to hear some of my tunes, go to stevezook1.bandcamp.com. That's stevezook, the number one.bandcamp.com. I do some kind of new age piano stuff. I do some solo acoustic and kind of a Michael Hedges style. I've got my best lead guitar solo ever in the studio with Darren Vegas, top hip hop producer called Journey in Time. You know, I do all kinds of music. I've got some kind of John McLaughlin nylon string. But my point just being that the really cool thing about chord melody is that it, and it helps you broaden your improvisational skills. But again, I would suggest you don't marry any genre like jazz. And the guitar ladder system is not a jazz guitar course. It's just that when you learn the 10 systems of improvisation, it broadens your improvisational skills. And even Eric Johnson says this, improvisational skills are the fertile soil for compositional skills. So don't think the guitar ladder is a jazz guitar course. However, here again, it's always both sides, right? If you like jazz and you want to do chord melody and you want to be able to improvise and compose, the guitar ladder system is like, you know, going to give you a, a huge quantum leap because it's those improvis. You're going to learn the ten different systems of improvisation in a very organic, simple, to learn way, but it's very powerful, but not with a bunch of formulas. But getting back to what I was talking about, sure, you can you can do 
or whatever it was. Right? And there's a certain cleanliness to just doing one, to doing, uh, you know, one note, right? But then there's also a nice sound to using nice chords like that, right? Now here I'm doing a 9-6 chord with a, seven, a major 9-6 with a 7 on top to a 13 to a major 7 pick. Now I could also make a, you know, add that uh, uh, major 13 flat 5. But I just wanted to make some points. Like, like if I, when I used to play Michelle, let me get a little closer here. When I used to play Michelle, uh, I would use in the beginning a chord for every melody note. You hear that? Now here I'm not. And then use the diminish as a kind of a traveling transitional and then the dominant. So I hear that? So, you know, now I could, I could embellish that. The trick with chord melody is to be a little bit minimal at times and then at other times to embellish it a little bit more. But if you put too much in, you can ruin it. And the real challenge of chord melody is not to be boring. Anybody can play a chord melody. You know, you just, you know, you go, you get a standard, you get a chart, you play the melody, you look at what chord goes with the melody. You know, you do some of the, some of the notes solo, some of the notes with a chord that matches whatever chord is in there. Uh, in, in, on the chart for that section, but but the challenge comes in making it interesting and maybe a little bit more modern and not so predictable because uh, if you if you're too predictable, it just gets boring and and you want to bring a little something to the table and that's what the guitar ladder system is, is about is getting your own unique musical point of view. You're going to reflect artists you love, but you want to have a musical point of view, and uh, so that's why it's important. But that's why I say like. Like with Michelle, I like to, you know, major seven, major six, major nine, slide down, and then use the diminished chord for kind of a traveling chord. But again, the guitar ladder system is not a jazz guitar course. I can't emphasize this enough. It's a course that will teach you the 10 different systems of improvisation without a bunch of theory and a bunch of reading and a bunch of stuff to bog you down. We're not going to insult your subconscious mind. We're going to do the opposite. We're going to actually complement and uh, respect your subconscious mind and it's going to be like wow and that's one of the reasons it works it's a science of neuroplasticity the way we learn you don't put a bunch of uh, you don't focus on results and outcome you focus more on being playful and exploring and learning and growing your musical ear but in terms of chord melody uh, it's it's all the in-between stuff that you do like in the turnaround sections or even just the way that you connect chords it's all the things that you can add to it to a, to a, to a standard that make it interesting and again when I studied with Joe Pass, he used to say, uh, he used to say, you know, by working standards, it really broadens your improvisational skills. And what he was, he wasn't the most verbal guy in the world. What he was really trying to say was that chordal improvisation is what broadens your musical skills, wakes up your musical ear. And for one ninety nine, the guitar ladder system seriously is like getting thousands of dollars of uh, instruction for one ninety nine. It's two hundred and forty studies plus. You get the Horace Hatchet secret files. Horace Hatchet taught Howard Roberts. Howard Roberts started the Musicians Institute in Hollywood. But that's why like cycle one in the guitar ladder system, you can see it's, it's a lot of smooth voice leading, right? And then you go back through and you add the shading. But I really want to make this point, the guitar ladder system is not a jazz guitar system. It's not genre specific. It will open up your ear to all kinds of music. But you, you got to get your musical tool chest together. You can't build a house if you don't have a hammer, right? So just because we're working with modern chords and piecing them together, don't pigeonhole and, put, and call this a jazz guitar course. It's not a jazz guitar course. However, if you go through the guitar ladder system, your level of playing jazz is going to go through the freaking roof as well as other styles. And you'll get to a point eventually where you'll be able to just like, like sometimes the other night I, I was staring at a nylon string guitar here in my office and I started just thinking about flamenco and the kind of, you know, chord color it has and the tension and resolution it has. And I, I thought about it for about five minutes. I picked up the guitar and even my wife heard it from downstairs. I just, God, I wish I could have recorded it. The universe gave me a gift of some really beautiful stuff. It was not it kind of reflecting some of the harmonic implications of flamenco and maybe some Latin American composers. I, I wish I would have recorded it, but I had no idea the gift I was going to get. And it's like Michael Hedges said, the whole, the whole thing about, about playing music and composing which is really fulfilling is to be in the present and let whatever can come through, come through. 
But the gift of music cannot come through you if you don't learn about the about the ways of creating tension and resolution, learn the ways of improvising, learn 10 systems of improvisation, learn how to create color, learn how to create magic and, and open up that portal so it can come through. But yeah, chord melody is really, really cool. I spent years where I mean, a lot of people used to pigeonhole me like, oh, like a jazzer and everything. Then I started doing some stuff in the studio. I released my CD and they, they heard some of my solo acoustic and different things. So like I said, you, you can, you, the best way to approach chord melody is to do do both, like do, uh, you know, may, maybe, you know, just do a couple notes and then a chord, you know, and then maybe, you know, kind of mix it up. But there's there's times, there's times when it sounds really good to do, a, you know, do more than one chord, but you, you have to have your musical tool chest together. The guitar ladder system is a complete guitar instruction and musical instruction and you know, improvisational compositional guide to help you open up and get that musical tool chest together so you can learn to create and learn to improvise and you know if, if you if you can't improvise and compose you, you need something to really kick you kick that in and wake up the musical ear and that's what the guitar ladder system can do it's 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 really more for intermediate and advanced players but i have had some beginners that are brave and jump in and man they're going to take some quantum leaps and uh, it's really powerful so yeah chord melody is really cool there's no big mystery about it. You, you just, you know, you're playing, I, I suggest you go through first and play the melody notes and then, you know, add the chord that, that, that's with those melody notes at the time. And then also experiment with adding, adding chords also for every melody note and just experiment with that as well. But, but the real trick to chord melody is making it interesting, making it not so predictable, making it not so inside. Like, like when I do here for rainy day. See ya. See, that's, that's musical, and then I might go through it another time and do it a little bit different. So it's an interesting thing, but yeah, you just don't want to, you don't want to get stuck in a genre, but if, if you really love chord melody, I'd suggest you invest in the guitar ladder system. It's thousands of dollars of material for only $1.99. You can order at stevesatguitars.com. Uh, price is going up soon, so I'd order now. And it, it's 240 studies plus the secret Horace Hatchet files. I don't send it all at once. It's not effective. But anyway, yeah, the, the, it's really, really good, too, to go through standards and just play those chord changes so your ear kind of hears that. But the guitar ladder system is going to teach you about partials. Uh, it's going to teach you, you know, about all the different ways to create tension and resolution and color. It's going to open up your musical ear and uh, it's it's really really a powerful system but very simple to use so i'll do more on this subject but this guitar is available it's 4.99 with the hard shell case which is a new case it's not a washburn case but this is a, i don't make much on these guitars folks i just love playing them for a while this came from a real but i'll go 4.99 on this with the new case i just bought which is not a washburn case but this really has a sound and i'm using a solid state solid state amp but uh so I think I'll stop right here. See, I'm, I'm kind of uh, trying to... But yeah, if you love guitar and you're serious about progressing and you can be honest with yourself to say that you haven't really grown as much as you'd like, don't overthink it. Invest in the guitar ladder system. It really works, folks. I've got over 35 years into it, thousands of hours. I've tested it on hundreds of students. It really works. It's not bullshit. It's not marketing fluff. It's the real deal. All right, so thank you very much. You can order at stevezookguitars.com. If you want samples, hit me up at poksu at gmail.com. Keep the faith. Stay positive. Remember, the universe is unfolding in time, not unraveling. Ciao.